Hey guys, I'm with Droid, and he's going to be showing us around his, please pronounce it properly because I'm just going to screw it up. Well, it's, it's the USS Maxwell, so that's, that's just the easy way to go by it, but it is a uh, Molochowski class. That's the word I was going to screw up. Mm. <laughs> that's the Ares, by the way, that's also on the server. Yeah, I can actually see that now with my new computer. <laughs> what am I at? I'm at... Screw it, because I don't even care. 64. There we go, you can see everything. Right. So this is, um, my ship. <laughs> oh, I should give some background. Um, it's Molochask class. It's seen in, uh, season one of Star Trek Discovery. Um, during, like, the Battle of the Binary Stars at the beginning. Um, I don't know if it makes any other appearances, because I haven't watched season one still. But, um, I thought it was a neat little ship. I, uh, this is my first ship. Um, I joined about six and a half, almost seven months ago. And I, uh, wanted to start out small, and this is the, uh, the, the nice little one that I went with. Oh, guys, this is the guy that did my haul, by the way. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that did that, that beautiful haul. I'm, I'm definitely, I uh, consider myself more of a hull guy than anything, but, um, it's only been a learning curve the whole ship. Do me a solid and set your flying speed to, like, two. <laughs> I think that's what I'm at. Yeah, let's just both keep it okay. consistent and go ahead and set your walking speed to two. Yeah, that's go. a good speed. Alright. Um, now my ship isn't finished, um, and I actually don't have bridge current. But I think a um a good place to look would actually Hang on, let be, me find yeah. you. There you go. Probably be just right in here through these windows in the deck too. Um right in here this is probably like your your quote unquote set room. Like if you were to see the um cafeteria like the mess hall, this would be it. Um it has almost that kind of discovery style thing where it has those high up windows that you can see out through. Um and I have the replicators over here, but uh um, with all my builds, it's really kind of going for a something that you could imagine being in a show. So I like to build these large set pieces and smaller, but it all uh, in the in the end functions well. Like over here is uh, the first officer's um, office. Oh, I like this. And it was kind of funky getting everything fitting in here because I have areas that dip down a little low and you bang your head on, but it's yeah. just like uh, the NX and a lot of aspects. The wood is very interesting. Where's your bridge at? Do you have that done? My bridge is on deck one. I do not have it done because I am uh, uh, very finicky and I haven't found a design that I like yet. <laughs> but um, this is probably going to be one of the last areas I actually do because I'm going to take all my experience now. My turbo lifts go absolutely everywhere. They just... Um, ah, here's an exit. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I'm trying to think what would be a good... Oh, I know. Um, is it on this deck? That one, please. Yes, it is. Um, this is my transporter, um, and I uh, I modified it from uh, discoveries that Creeper made because uh, he had a great design for that. I just kind of yeah, I do like that. Down and I kind of crunched it in and flattened it out a little bit until I got it right around to where I, I needed it. I like how it it's two and a half blocks high, but it looks like it's three blocks high. Yeah, I really, really tried to kind of give that, that fake impression of height with, like, kind of bringing in the stairs, making you see more than you can actually physically get to, because every deck on my ship is only three blocks tall, but, um, because I just couldn't fit any higher, but I, that, that's one thing I had to play around with a lot. Um, that would be another good, this room isn't... Computer um, core? Yeah, this is going to be the computer core, and actually I found an error right now that, that there isn't supposed to be a ceiling on the deck below, but, uh... I think what else would be interesting on this deck? Uh, I think... This is mostly, um... Senior officers' quarters. Um, some interesting systems, the custom life support systems I had to make. Uh, Queen Curie made a ton of great, great systems for Discovery that I am endlessly thankful to be able to use for it. But, um, yeah, it looks like that's about... This is a pretty boring deck, but the next one down is where things get fun. Uh, right away in here we have our turbolift maintenance oh. area where you can 
uh, store them. It's it's almost exactly like what's on uh, Discovery, except for kind of you know minimize um, less of them, of course. But uh, I don't think yeah, we but, saw this on Discovery episode. No, but Creeper did an amazing design that he did, and I I, I take a lot of elements and modify them. And then you got your repair bay. I imagine these are just filled with tools and other repair kits and things. Let me clarify. The Discovery episode we just did. Yes, the Discovery episode that you can actually check out if you go onto his channel. Yeah. Uh, Creeper's Discovery is really impressive what he's done. Uh, over here is actually one of our two bio labs. I imagine this also being the um, lab that we see on uh, like the show, and then you have like your little this. This is like a force field. You can keep things stored in there. Do whatever uh, that you need. Yeah, and just other more storage and a decontamination room. Um, this is a little bit reminiscent of actually Enterprise. So I wanted to bring some Enterprise things into it. Push it forward, basically. Uh, Dude, do you mind if I? Where's the hallway? Yeah, perfect. This is something I did on the original Franklin. Hang on. This goes into the other room, right? Mm hmm Okay, now if you... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna show it to you. Um, where Do you have any acacia slab? Acacia stairs? Let me find some. Stairs or slab? Stairs to replace that. There. Anyways, thinking, like, like a window through it where you can see in. Check this out. There's not really much of a way to. So I just, yeah, like that. Now, if I grab, yeah, that was decon, right? Mhm. Mm no, this is something I I designed in the Franklin, in decon. <laughs> How do I put this on there? Are you there. Trying to put it? Ah, for crying out loud. <laughs> this is way too hard. Now, see what this is? You open it, put the food oh, yeah, in, could... and another That's guy cool. takes it out. I could probably include that in some way. I'd, I'd maybe do that to the one out. Because I imagine that, well, I mean, that would probably be a better... I'm gonna have I'm gonna tell Stitch about that. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. I, I would definitely think of including that. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what are some other cool areas? Actually, this way, it's not done. I'm seeing a sneak peek into some into my unfinished area, but eventually, this is going to be a windows that will look down into one of our two cargo areas. Um, it's going to basically be like the uh, refit enterprise where underneath the saucer. There will be little hatches that will open, and you can lift a work key into here, and, or like just hover carts, and move whatever you need. Um, actually, right here is a good example of actually another thing that's here, um, which is my dual stacked and launch point um, escape pods. Now, I, I found that I could actually perfectly fit two escape pods in between the hull, and here, because of how it's lined up, you can eject them both up and down. So, let's say your hull gets damaged on the top. Shoot them both out the bottom. I'll get sandwiched on the bottom. Shoot them both out the top. Launch them out both directions. Here. I yeah. think I got some double stacked ones in my secondary hall. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a nice, you know, space saver and cool kind of unique thing that you can do. Uh, do you have a pod? Does it? Do you have a? I don't have do any have doors in yet. I don't I have don't doors. Look like. it, so. That's going to be done once I I get escape pods in towards the end. But, there you are. Yeah, this deck still has plenty of really cool things going on, like uh, up towards the front. Not that room, that's just my life support, but um, this room right here is my compressed hydrogen and oxygen room, so um, we do have water on the ship, but uh, one thing that Blue Phobes actually brought up to me before was you could just have compressed hydrogen and oxygen tanks, whatever use, but also need water. You can use them for that. Which is interesting. That's just another kind of little set piece room. Three tanks. Then across the hallway. Is this whole ship three block hall? 
Three Unfortunately, I, I really wanted to do more, but I couldn't. And in here, and I need to detail out the rest of that inside. <laughs> I just hit a, uh, <laughs> a macro. A bunch of macros. Well, uh, yeah, guys, another... go there. Yeah, yeah. Go, go to that. I'll, I'll put a link to it. I need to set up macros, honestly, for that kind of stuff. <laughs> and in and, and here are, like, the water tanks. I imagine not necessarily just being for, like, the crew to use, but also for tests. I, I, I call this more, like, water control and, like, experimentation kind of lab. Gotcha. Uh, this is probably a room I'm going to redo. Uh, I'm not exactly happy with it right now, but um, that's going to be at a later point once I want to redo that's it. pretty good to me. Well, thank you. <laughs> Um, what else would be good to show off on this deck? Uh, towards the back, we have, uh, I'm gonna fly here. Go for it. Distance. It's, uh, Whoa. Oh, it's just the odds. Uh, alright, right here are... One second. Okay, right here are the uh, batteries of the ship, so these are just standard, they're on every ship, um, they, they just, you know, power different things. Um, all my conduit is hooked up, so if you did look, you can actually go and find where they connect to everything. So how are you doing that on three block tall decks? Is um, it just between walls? My ship has a lot of space on the sides, like, um, later on we can go look. I have a lot, because it's a very flat kind of curve of the ship, so we have lots of... Um, space on the sides now. Uh, okay, okay, I know where we are. Uh, over here is the flight control deck. Now, um, after we go from here, I'm going to go straight down into the shuttle bay once we finish up this deck, but this is just going to be flight control for the uh, shuttle bay that I designed. Gotcha. Yeah. That, that'll be fun to look at in a bit here, but on each side here, they're identical, just mirrored are the uh, flight briefing rooms, or just briefing room in general if you need it. Uh, has a view into the shuttle bay area. The guy can talk. Pull things up on the viewer, you know. Awesome. Thing up here. Um, also, because this is kind of by the flight deck and briefing, we have two of these, which are um, the um, flight suit room. So um, this is where everything that would have to do with like flight storage, um, EVA suits, everything would be stored in here. And there's just a little changing room if somebody wants it, but uh, ever, everything that has to do with light and storage goes in those two rooms. That's where the um, shy guy goes. Yeah, yeah. Now, th this is a really cool area here. Uh, these are two just Jeffrey's tubes that curve around my are these main deuterium line? lines. Oh. Uh, these are deuterium lines, uh, and they go just you know straight to my um, dual intake core, which we can show off a bit later. Um, up here, I think, yeah, this is just access to the deck above, and what will be, um, eventually, once I get it designed by, oh. uh, this will be my backup core eventually here. I mean, my backup computer core. And I, uh, I wanted to make sure to have those both centered, and that's pretty, um, set within the ship, which is nice. Uh, it took a while to get this kind of layout right, and I just have... Um, now, a little secret, these go almost nowhere, like two of these connect to stuff, but I, I just wanted to do it to look cool. And this would be yeah, it does. Cool. And that uh, just kind of shows off areas. Now, this area is a little hard to see around. Um, this is the bottom area of my um, transporters. These are all the systems to the transporters. Oh, God, and, I just saw uh, inside your head, and it was horrifying. <laughs> and it goes down and splits between that. That's just a little maintenance room. I have a lot of these little repair rooms for large, like, systems. I'll have a little room where you can tinker with things. And, uh, I'm gonna go into Spectator here, and I'm gonna go through this. Now, this is my main, um, computer, um, junction line with, uh, where all the conduit, uh, connects to. Because over here is the main computer control area. And, uh, what I built here was actually a modified version of, uh, Queen's design that she made. And, uh, because I had, I had to compact it down. A lot of my systems for the ship are basically her systems, but shrunk down, compacted to fit within my tighter kind of uh, areas. And 
Now, I'm trying to think, what else have I showed off? Um, oh, actually, here, right here. Uh, computer lab. Uh, this is one of the computer labs where... Uh, this is a very scientific ship. This is a lot like kind of its O-birth of the day. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of... I'm getting those vibes. Yeah, it's just a, a lot of different labs. And, um, what's down... Oh. Hmm. I'm trying to think how am I going to get around here. I think there's a door on the other side. Or is it Jeffrey's tube? Jeffrey's... No, I went the wrong way. Well, I have this works anyway. Yeah, this is Jeffrey's tube. We can get through here. Uh, getting lost in my own ship. I get... Uh, I do that too. Then, uh, there's one more room here. Then we can move on to the, the shuttle bay. Uh, right here. Now, this isn't done either, because this is going to have to be done at a separate, ti separate time when I design all my larger systems. And this is going to be our main uh, transporter receivers here. I turned this brown detail that was uh, up top into a transporter receiver. And uh, then this is just my, my main deuterium fill port that then hooks up to what we saw before. Um, then just other tankage of sorts. Um, but yeah, um, if we can go into spec here, then we can go over to the shuttle bay. And um, I know Blue Phobes, he actually recorded me building this whole shuttle bay. He did? He, uh, yeah, he recorded me building this front area. Uh, and he was going to time lapse it, but I haven't gotten it yet. But, um, well, not all of it, but just like the original main build out he recorded in a time lapse when he was gone. And uh, there's a lot of discovery elements here. Um, the side little, um, how do they get in the work bees? Actually, you know what? This is a great, this is a great thing right here um, to explain. I'm not sure who put this sign here. It was but, me. Um, that was you? It wasn't me. Okay. Um, actually, right here, we have a hatch on the side that will go up into the deck that I'm working on currently that is up top. But, yeah, um, I see it they, now. Yeah, they access the work, the work bees there, and um, yeah, lot. Uh, this is meant to be very similar, but more compact in style to discoveries, but also pushing it a little in both the directions of the timeline. Uh, got the discovery shuttle fits in here. We can fit about five. Well, like about five, maybe six, if you cram it in. Um, Back yeah, here, I'm really proud small. of these. I'm really proud of these back areas. Now, this this is is my, in my brain, the like the set area, what you would see that would actually be built on stage, and this is um, our two shuttle bay, our uh, repair. Uh, wow, can't speak. Uh, repair and maintenance areas. So it has all kinds of tools and shelves full of stuff, and uh, this is where if you need to, like make a special configuration for your shuttle for a certain mission, it goes in here, gets all. Yeah. And fixed up and sent on its way. Uh, lots of viewing, being able to see it. Uh, looks really cool from. Um, well, looks really cool from these areas where you can look down on, into like a shuttle bay or shuttle. I mean, being modified, and uh, through the stores actually another set area one where you can look out, at the, um, at the shuttles and everything. It has that perfect centered view of it actually, and. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much the shuttle bay for now. Um, let me talk probably a bit about all the detail that's been done on the outside, because um, that that's been a long process. The first few while, like the first month, was all all detailing. Now um, we had this great model by the uh, guy who made the STO version of this. It was made by him, uh, and you could look all around it. And I really the biggest pain with this was setting the hull lines and the Azteking because. All these hull lines, except for a few, are not straight. They're all at angles, or they curve at some point, and uh, it was so infuriating to just have to go through and do yeah, a line, erase it, redo it, look at it again, tweak it, move it a little bit. Uh, lots of times we put into, especially this Azteking, because in the model, when you move it, the light refracts and hit it, di hits it differently. So then, the hull detailing looks different from different angles. Is this really an RCS block? Yes, they actually wow, are. Wow, those are RCS small on this ship. Yeah, I have um, about uh, eight of them, I think. Uh, I'm going to be able to make some real nice small compact versions. Uh, down at the bottom, this is the only area that isn't done on the exterior. I still need to Aztec these long black wool uh, parts, but um, that's going to be for a, a later time when I feel like doing it, just whenever. Um, 
But I, I'm really proud of especially a lot of this bottom ass teching. Yeah, I like and, that reflector. Um, thanks. That was um a combination of work between me and Stitcheroo on that. Oh uh, yeah, um, that's problem. Did he take that from his ship? No, he didn't. It's actually a um a custom one used based off the 3D model. But behind it, um, there's actually this is not on the model. This was all in my head. Um, I made it like the NX, where it has that same blue glow. And then it, um, in the model, it was actually an error, but it had these kind of blocks connecting the top to the bottom. And I, I reintroduced that as like a structural support and uh, kind of organically moved it into that and, and just have one conduit that's supposed to be types of detail. Oh, I didn't realize this was open up to the outside. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to see. If you turn off Gamma Bright, I actually may light up a little. No one has their gamma right off usually. Oh, a little oh, thing there. Oops. Okay, I'm good. Um, otherwise, on the outside, um, yeah, it, it just a lot of this turned out great. Um, these little square panels here actually uh, can move down. We find you. Uh, right. These little these these large panels here can move down, and you can actually load. Uh, torpedo pod. So if you go into Spectator, it has this huge torpedo magazine. Ooh. And my ship is a science vessel, but it is also accidentally armored to the teeth. It has more torpedoes than Discovery, and more launching ports than Discovery. And, uh, oh, Creeper's actually here in Spectator. Oh no, he's here in Creative. Okay. But, um... He's here, he's with us? Oh, no, he's in Spectator. Uh, he's here, but in Spectator. And, um... Really proud of these launching, uh, these torpedo launchers. Um, they they turned out great. They're also a modified version of Queen's design. She made amazing systems. Um, the most prominent ones, of course, are these ones on the pylons here. These just massive. Well, these just very There's easy to see. There's not a lot of space buildings. in here. But um, yeah, I had to move. If you go inspector, you can see where they hook up to the torpedo magazine way up over here. Do I see that? Be, That's interesting. Yeah, these are going to do the same thing. This uh, Actually, this is a good point to talk about this deck. Um, right here, I had to make a split deck um, because of just how it was shaped, and I wanted to get these windows in here. And uh, something that was actually unique and um, thought, about, I thought out about this design is, I mean, we have the impulse assembly here, and that this actually large, darker panel will move off to move the impulse reactors in and out, and it, it doesn't really need any because it's powered using the warp core um, still at this point in the universe. Um, mm -hmm. But um, right outside, let's say you get off your shift monitoring the impulse reactors, you can, this bathroom here, or you can walk straight into one of the nicest lounges on the ship, and you can look out at the um, at and that's the, interesting. at the nacelle. Um, what my favorite area is, you're probably going to have to teleport to me because I'm flying all around is right here. Um, this is our, our quote-unquote show um, briefing room. This is the one, and you can see out, and I imagine like when you're at warp, I mean, you can see the nacelle going in like the Wait, was it in the show? Glowing. Um, no, this is not, you, we don't see any of this besides the um, outside of the ship. Been a this while. All, yeah, this is all in my own head. And um, I imagine like when the ship's at warp and if they're having a briefing, they can look out here and see all the like stars that streak by, and, yeah, yeah, and the nacelle the right there. And you can see the whole nacelle from the shot too. It's pretty cool. Actually, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a really cool opportunity I had there. And those there, there are windows right there on the design too. Um, but, uh, moving on over here to the nacelle. Um, yeah, I. I really went all out with the detailing here. It, it's a lot like Discoveries on the front of the three. Uh, it kind of looks like a face. It looks like Modoc. <laughs> hmm. uh, I can't remember what else they said. I even gave him teeth. Looks like he has teeth with the lights that are there. <laughs> but, um, kind of affectionately, there. I call this nacelle basically like a, a highlighter because it kind of looks like a, a large, bulky. That's the century you're thinking of. It's, it's really... No, uh, the New Orleans, the, sorry. And the details. Yeah, those have the like, highlighter torpedo pods, yeah. Literally, I, they're highlighters. 
And uh, I did the Aztec. Oh, I didn't. Oh, actually, that's an area I still have to do Aztec. -ing. Good thing I noticed this. Along this bottom extra, I still need to do that. All right, good to know. Uh, th there's also a registry that will be along here at some point. It will be its registry. Uh, then, I mean, you just have your back with quote unquote exhaust. It's not exhaust because that's not how warp cells work. Uh, it's just a glowy what thing. It? It's your off axis controller. Uh, yeah. Just. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, over here's a cool detail. These, we didn't know what to do with these, so talk to Appler. And um, these are actually going to be our um, shuttle venting. So you can, in an emergency, vent the shuttle of bay straight easy out of there. Then I added those uh, tractor beams on each side because it made sense. Oh, I see. Yeah, I thought those were um, torpedo launchers for a second. That would have been a good place. They they look almost exactly the same, but Oh, are they right here? Yeah, they're down there. People say, okay, well you're gonna shoot off the light here, but actually you barely graze it. So, That's not <laughs> a good barely sign. Miss it. You barely miss it. And okay, they're self guided anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it's not gonna don't worry about it. Don't if you're pitching it. up and the other enemy ships above you one wrong. You're, you're yeah, good. you're you know you're fine. You're fine. That's a and pretty thing right you're going right? Right above it, this area actually drops out, and you have the third smaller cargo bay down here. Um, and I, I, this area was actually built out of um, on, on accident because I, I just didn't know what to fill here, and I couldn't bring any turbo lift shafts this way. Okay. So I ended up uh, making it into a third cargo bay area with like designated spots that dignitaries or whatever. Could what are these? Reserve. These are my atmospheric thrusters. I have these placed throughout the ship. Oh, okay, that's what those are. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, I have Jeffrey's tubes because I couldn't fit a hallway that go over to this um, systems for shuttle bay, and it's venting and different phaser systems, and all kinds of that jazz, all, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. Looking good then so we far. Fly over here and we go through this wall we have the um, engineering now main engineering this is main engineering now this is a uh, interesting story because I I have many inspirations that went into this now with the ship even though it's small I wanted to go for like an industrial look so big thing with this was making it tall another big thing was um, making it tie into discovery really well so we gave it that see-through like kind of area over here, which also looks a lot like the original series, because um, this is a reference of a reference. <laughs> and um, I I went for a really interesting warp uh, core here. Now, um, the one that's in here currently is designed by uh, Queen also, but uh, the idea is basically because of the weird size. Um, you have two main deuterium lines that then the warp core, the core itself, would actually be right about right here. And um, they would just kind of, you know, feed into there. Uh, and, well, the original intent was for this just long part here to be the warp core. You just look down at the warp core. Uh, but this is just a really unique design. You can have the antimatter here, so this glows red underneath your feet. Uh, Ooh. And you have all your different systems around here. You have little viewing platforms that will be accessible from uh, the catwalks. So these are going to be my antimatter tanks. You're going to be able to look in here from those. And, uh, a little bit of tight, but I, I really wanted to include those. And actually, these uh, displays here also will display information, but you can make them as they are right now, see-through, so you can see from the engineering straight at the antimatter tanks, even though there's no use for that. <laughs> it just looks cool, and you can do it. Cool. Uh, another cool thing that was designed by Queen down below here in the um, warp core over here at the antimatter is uh, this looks like uh, the NX-01, how you can look. It has like that purple and red kind of looking warp uh. core down here. So it has that reference. And then it, because like the injectors are right there, then these go off to processors, which will then go just you know, into the main uh, antimatter thing. Otherwise, um, that's about most of the and, um, emitters. systems of the ship. Yeah, these are my other uh, tractor beam emitters. And transporter. Just have yeah, I just have a yeah transporter emitters, and we just have another floating sign there. Don't don't mind that. More systems. We were just here. Yeah, we were just here. 
I think, I'm trying to think what else. Um, oh, you're gonna have to TP over to me again to one of my favorite rooms that was actually built out of necessity. So, since this is a discovery, we don't have quote unquote like full on holodecks. So, well, the crew needs a place to be able to, you know, work out, get things done, so I came up with the rec room. And this is, um, this takes up the most space on the ship, but I think it's gonna look really cool. I can make a cool, another, like, a, a set piece area where you can, you know, uh, go in here, there's probably gonna be a little track, different equipment, and all kinds of different sorts, so I'll go around here, then these will be viewing windows like I have that go into the uh, cargo bays that you can look at. And, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a very cool set-piece opportunity. Just out of curiosity, where'd you get the idea for brown door frames? I got this from your ship, actually. Almost yeah, all I'm time. like, wait a minute. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, I, I learned a lot of my stuff from your ship and from you, so a lot of my um, usage of colors on floors is um, what is used on the Ganymede, so it's, it's really easy to tell what you're looking at. Really easy. Um, these are all just enlisted crew quarters. And then there's more VIP stuff going along the sides. But um, now, if we go up to the top, the very top, and see the deck that I'm working on, which is actually the deck we were just on, but we get a better view at it. Ah, oh, poo. Um. Oh, you're in the thing above. There you are. Yeah. And uh, I just started this yesterday, actually. And. Um, you did all this yesterday. I did all of what, yeah, I, I did all this yesterday, what I have done up here. Uh, actually, I didn't even have much time yesterday. <laughs> but, Jeez. yeah, th this is um, the sick bay here, which is, uh, you know, uh, the opposite side of the, um, I'm starting to lose my word, security complex, so you're going to have different beds here, and around the other side you'll have your one operating area, your bio bed. Um, which I also designed like a set, looks a bit different. Um, I don't have the, whatever the bio, you know, thingy will look like in here. Um, but then you have a window that will look into the, um, this little area I imagine just being a, just a sit around, uh, basically just a, a little a waiting break room. room for, yeah, a bit of a break room. Uh, but then, yeah, you have your, uh, yeah, you have your medical office, your medical chief, uh, little area there. Uh, not too much is really done here, uh, over here is going to be the security complex, so you're going to have your two brig areas, a what is deck that? backup is power systems. Uh, what is what? What deck? What number? It's deck five. This is deck five. I'm halfway through the ship now. And, and I only started this? this like two months ago, I want to say. Maybe. That sounds about there. right. What's yeah, this do right here. This is um, just a marker for what's going to be a uh, counter area. This is where the security guy just sits here and twirls his thumbs as he makes sure that the other guys don't escape. <laughs> then you're just gonna walk around here, just a little wall thing, and this brings you to the armory. Uh, maybe not a good idea to have your armory one room away from your prison inmates. Yeah, it's a good idea, like I did. I, I went through this with Creeper on our on his episode. Um, give it a checkpoint of some kind. I, I imagine that this is like a high security locked door. It's like a blast door, basically. Uh, I'll probably reinforce it, do an extra detail. But, uh, yeah, this will be your armory, then across from it is your, just your, your security briefing. Because my armory is similarly positioned at right next to, like, 12 different brigs. Brig cells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You saw the stream, you know what it's, what it's about. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, that, that's, yeah, pretty much what I've gotten Ooh. up to at this point. I think what else would be interesting around here? Funky. This is gonna be a really, yeah. This is gonna be a really interesting corridor. Should this be filled in? Huh? Like that? No, 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 no. I, I have a well, maybe I don't know. I have a plan. I'm not sure who is placing all these signs around. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like people placing signs without telling me who's doing it. But that's okay. I oh, need what? to start labeling my rooms, honestly. I, I am gonna be, um, I, I, I yeah. I don't know who did that, but anyway, uh, that is. But oh well, it happens. That uh, that is um, that's my ship. <laughs> All right, meet me in the surgical bay. We'll end there. Right. Break away all of this. Right. 
It's nice All being right. able to be here. Go ahead. It's nice to be able to be here to talk about my ship. I'm uh, really proud of it and what I've been able to accomplish in these past seven months. Cool ship, dude. Um, Thank you. Once again, you saw him accidentally put the mind trick um, map in there, so I'll go ahead and link that when I upload. But yeah. you, I, I just posted them all in chat. <laughs> yeah, a happy accident. Um, yeah, it is a modded server, as you've probably seen. So just go on the side, just the Weebly site, just Google Mind Trick, and it'll give you everything. It's pretty easy. Just we also have a Discord, so just. I'm bad at this. You, you can tell, right? <laughs> yeah, we got our uh, Discord. Glad to have you there because we have, you know, we're looking for more, more members. We want more members. That is the ideal. More people yeah, better. we need exposure. It sounds like such a cliche thing to say, but it's true. <laughs> uh, Come on, guys. Join. Check us out. I know you want mm -hmm. to. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of really great people here. A lot, a lot of really great people. <laughs> Stupid sticky keys. Hmm? I got sticky keys. <laughs> All I right. Think I, I think I disabled it. I think <laughs> I'm going to cut this off here. And okay. ciao. Right. Ciao.